everybody, welcome back. Um, so, got another one here on uh, Caitlin Berry. This is her father. Um, I'm assuming the parents are divorced. The mother's remarried. She is a uh, assistant. Uh, they call them state attorneys, but it'd be like a district attorney to us out here in the east in um, North Dakota. This is in Sydney, Montana. I think it's like a 10-mile journey, the difference. Um, father of missing Sydney, Montana woman is hopeful for her return. I just want her home. And this looks like Hank Berry. This is him here. I read an earlier, uh, did an earlier video, read an article for it. That's a nice uh, uh, railing right there. And Hank is a uh, manager of a warehouse. Uh he said that he built her an apartment above his workshop. So this would be her apartment. This would be her workshop. She did not have a job. Uh, he said that she did not drink or uh, do drugs. And that uh, that she did have mental health issues in the past. Um, but that is as far as anything new that is... Uh, Odd, but anyway, here we go. So Hank Berry stands on his daughter Caitlin's doorstep in Sydney on the third, four days after he reported her missing. Police have started a criminal investigation into her disappearance. That's the big one, big news today. Is it's now gone to a criminal investigation, um, and she has no ID, no wallet, no uh, uh, her winter coat's not there, and or she doesn't have it or her phone. On December 21st, Hank Berry pulled up at an apartment he built in Sydney, Montana to drop off McDonald's huh, for his 26-year-old daughter, Caitlin. He regularly made such deliveries to keep his daughter from stepping out into the bitter eastern Montana cold. When he got to the door to leave, he paused and told Caitlin to give him a big squeeze, knowing it would likely be a few days before he would hug her again. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about, like, this is three days before Christmas Eve. That's the last time Hank saw his daughter. Caitlin Berry's been missing for two weeks, leaving her phone, wallet, uh, jacket, uh, abandoned belongings. Later found by police, prompted them to start a criminal investigation into her disappearance. It has been devastating because we are very close, her father said, choking back tears. She confides in me with a lot of things, and I just want her home. I mean, she's cute. I mean, she's real cute. Uh... Barry, who's also the daughter of the Grand Forks County Assistant State Attorney Carmel Madison, spent her middle school years in Grand Forks, but has mostly lived in Sydney, Hank said. Oh, it's her father's race car. That's cool. That looks like a demolition derby car, and I love a good demolition derby. But anyway, that's the race car. Authorities conducted an on-the-ground air searches around the area and have walked the distance of Caitlin's uh, apartment in Sydney, an oil patch town of 6,300. An oil patch town is a new term of art for me. Um, since about 10 miles west of the North Dakota border, Caitlin didn't drive a vehicle. Uh, she looks like she's ready to drive one, though, right there. Uh, the apartment connected to Hank's workshop lies only a few blocks from the town, oh, the town pump, an expansive gas station and truck stop where Caitlin occasionally walked to buy snacks. Authorities retrieved video surveillance from the town pump along with businesses in the center of town about two miles from her apartment. Investigators have not disclosed what the, that video revealed, if anything. Carrie Coomer, an assistant manager of the truck stop, said Caitlin is a regular customer, though. She didn't know much about her. With Caitlin's photo and biographical information now hanging on missing person flyers taped to every entrance of the truck stop, Cooper said she knows Sydney's the kind uh, the place where people will work to find her and comfort those in agony over her disappearance. Awesome. Well, that's a cool place. That's a nice truck stop. Um, you know what they do? This just reminds me of all this snow and everything. I've seen a lot of videos on people that will uh, do winter camping in their cars. In truck stops. I don't know why. And now I'm uh, interested to know more about uh, that. It's just, it always, when I see it pop up or something, I'm always like, well, that sounds stupid. <laughs> it's cold. Uh, when somebody's missing, the town comes together and help quite well. 
who are close communities and has beneficial to these types of situations. Richland County Sheriff John Dennison said his entire office is working to find Caitlin. There have been no other disappearances in the area recently. And when they say sheriff, like here in the east, like sheriff uh, is uh, in charge of the jails in the county. They're the chief law enforcement officer uh, for that county. Out west, like a county like this, like you're talking about this town of 6,300 people. There might be one deputy on duty at a time. And we're talking about counties that are, might be a, uh, 200 miles across from one end to the other. Uh, you are really out there on your own. And um, it is just, it's just crazy. Um, let's see here. Authorities have no suspects in connection with her disappearance. Caitlin mostly stayed at home, drawing and listening to music, but she had big dreams of opening a CBD shop in town, her father said. Everybody's in that CBD. The legal hemp-derived product helped Caitlin cope with mental health issues that she was battled through her adult life. She's 26. 26 is a prime age when girls turn, uh, become bipolar. I'm not saying that happened here. I'm not giving any medical advice or anything else like that. Just a random statistic I've heard once. Um... Hank said lately, Caitlin had also struggled with drug addiction, her father noted. That's funny, because in the other uh, article, so she didn't do drugs. Uh, she had friends in town, Hank said, but she was unemployed and spent the majority of her time in her apartment. Uh, Hank remembers going to concerts with his daughter in North Dakota at Kiss Show in Grand Forks. Hank bought her a sweatshirt bearing the iconic band's name. She was likely wearing it when she disappeared, he said. Really? Seems odd. It's got hate believes Caitlin hasn't left the immediate area. And someone in town knows where she is. He hasn't given up hope that Caitlin's out of harm's way. I mean, she is a cute girl. But you know, in reality, every day we go, uh, that goes by is a little grimmer. Uh, if you have information, call the sheriff's office. Um, that's a bus or a plane? Plane, I'm betting. Huh. Anyway, there's a sheriff's office number. Um, that's just weird. Huh. It just seems weird. This one's just a weird article. I don't know why. I got to think about this one some. So, anyway, uh, subscribe. And you'll get my thoughts when I come to a conclusion later. And other than that, um, guys, gotta be safe out there. I mean, that's just, look there. I'm supposed to see, look at her clothes. Okay, she always is wearing a tank top. Anyway, guys, just be safe. All right? Watch out for each other. Check in on somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Call your mom. And until next time, Godspeed.